Hello dear students, in this session we are going to learn series combination of capacitors. What happens if the capacitors are connected in series? We are going to derive an expression for it. Say I consider two capacitors, okay, C1 and C2 which are connected in series. C1 and C2 are the two capacitors which are connected in series and they are connected across a cell of EMFV in series combination okay charge stored in each capacitor is same that means this uh, capacitor has a charge say plus Q charge here is minus Q charge here is plus Q again and charge here is minus Q in series combination we have to remember charge stored is same okay. and say the total potential is V potential drop across C1 let it be V1 potential drop across C2 let it be V2 now we have to draw an equivalent circuit in the examination you should not forget it we have to replace the system of these two capacitors into a single capacitor which can do the same work I name that capacitor as CS and which should do the same work plus Q minus Q and the potential is V okay now in series combination charge stored in each capacitor is same we will write the equation for potential therefore so in this uh, circuit if you observe we can write an equation V1 plus V2 is equal to V V1 plus V2 equal to V I name this equation as some star now I'll write what is V1 okay what is V1 V1 is equal to see I know one equation Q is equal to CV okay Q is equal to CV and therefore V equal to Q by C so therefore V1 equal to Q by C1 hope you can understand Q is equal to CV V is equal to Q by C so here therefore V1 equal to Q by C1 and similarly similarly what is V2 V2 is equal to Q by C2 now what we are doing we are going to replace this system of capacitors into a equivalent capacitance okay I, I call it as CS okay now I'll write if CS is the equivalent capacitance equivalent capacitance equivalent capacitance then what what happens then I can write V is equal to Q by CS V is equal to Q by CS now I have got the values of V V1 and V2 let me substitute in this equation equation star now equation star implies V equal to V1 plus V2 that is Q by CS is equal to Q by C1 plus Q by C2. Now what is common here? Q is common. Q into 1 by C1 plus 1 by C2. What happens? This Q and Q gets cancelled. 1 by CS is equal to 1 by C1 plus 1 by C2. And the capacitors are connected in series. Reciprocal of the effective capacitance is equal to sum of reciprocals of individual capacitances. Now if you have uh, n capacitors if you have n number of capacitors then 1 by cn 1 by oh, cs is equal to 1 by c1 plus 1 by c2 and so on up to 1 by cn okay so derivation is over here derivation is over okay this is the equivalent capacitance okay then if if n capacitors if n capacitors of equal capacitance of equal capacitance so these are extra points n capacitors of equal capacitance C equal capacitance C are connected in series are connected in series then what happens Then what happens 1 by CS will be equal to okay so 1 by C plus 1 by C plus 1 by C hope you can understand how many times n times correct now n capacitors of equal capacitance C are connected in series so then what happens n into 1 by C n times okay or it is n by C or 
if you invert it cs is equal to therefore c by n cs is equal to c by n these two points uh, you please remember this uh, might be uh, handy okay for entrance examinations hope you understood uh, this derivation okay so here this is the last step as far as board examination point of view here the derivation will be over okay thank you very much